Hello, everyone, and welcome to your second of two You Pick Tuesday comparison video requests. Doesn't have to be a comparison, you know. This is a three way triple threat. It's a triple threat death match. The fifth call out. If you guys don't remember, I did uh, first, second, and third, and I guess I did a fourth. This is the fifth. Ronnie Coleman, 2001, the king, versus the cut above the rest, Jay Cutler, 2007. And Dr. Phil Heath, or The Gift, as you may call him, 2014. Now this is funny. This is not when they lost their titles. This is when they... A lot of people said they should have lost their titles. Every one. I'm not saying that, but a lot of you guys do. A lot of the fans think Coleman should have lost it to Jay in 2001. Jay should have lost it to Victor Martinez 2007. Phil should have lost to Kai Green 2014, and on and on and on. But anyway, I do go on. Let's go to the front double bicep. And this is a triple threat match, so the outcomes can be a little bit debatable because I basically use the mathematical equations. And when it comes to judging three physiques, you really have to settle on one for one reason. Now, I'm going with Jay Cutler for the win, and most of you are probably hitting a thumbs down already. The thing is, guys, it's a physique contest. And Jay Cutler, he's losing in the limbs. I would say both arms and legs to both men. But when you look at the physiques, his midsection is the only one that's not bloated. And that, to me, is a huge, you know, a huge no-no. Bloated, thick midsections. In which case, Coleman and Dr. Phil did have in spades, but Jay Cutler looks tremendous. Now his limbs on the other hand, like I said, so it's not a strong win, but in my opinion he is placing first, and in my opinion Ronnie Coleman would get the second place. Go to the front lat spread, and again guys, midsections. The first thing I see is midsections. This time, Phil Heath, I mean this is a, this is the opposite of a win. He is getting a, a full-blown loss in this one. Because of that bloated midsections, or midsection. And a lot of people said that Kai Green should have won because of that. But hey, there was a few shots where Kai had a bloated midsection as well in the side chest, things of that nature. But anyway, again, I like Jay Cutler. Jay Cutler seems to be the most aesthetic, the best midsection. And in this one, he's probably even winning as far as the V taper, the lats are concerned. So again, you got to kind of pick between Coleman and and Phil Heath, and it's so close, guys, much like the front double, much like the front double, and the outcome will be the same as well. Ronnie's just so much bigger than Phil, that's that X factor. Go to the side, and this is a different ball game. This is a different ball game. Jay Cutler, yeah, he was probably losing in the size, or he was losing in the size of the wheels, the front shots, but he had the feathering in the quads, you know what I mean? It's such a strong thing for him that he can kind of get by with less conditioning. But when you turn him to the side, little too smooth, monsoon, little too smooth, gorilla. But anyway, when you look at the side of uh, Phil Heath's leg, wow. What he was losing in the front shots, and he was, he's getting back here. He is the clear winner, and he sits very low in this shot. Jay, he stands a little bit taller, and Coleman actually stands the tallest, and that's the way they are. It's Phil's the shortest if they stood back to back and things of that nature. Anyway, it's kind of funny. But anyway, guys, this is a, a Ronnie Coleman and Jay Cutler match for the second place, and I say Ronnie Coleman is defeating Jay Cutler easily. And I might, I'll probably get some debate whether... Uh, Phil is beating Ronnie Coleman, but in my opinion, it's not even a contest. I just love Jay Cutler, or Phil Heath's, rather, his side chest development, in my opinion. It is uh, getting an easy win here. So, he's back on the board as the doctor. Go to the side tricep, and it would be to be expected that Phil Heath would win this one. And arm for arm, I don't even know if he is winning. Maybe the balance, he has a better dealt, things of that nature. 
But his midsection, now he's the one that gets the Jesse, the, Ver- the body Ventura voice. He's a little too smooth, Gorilla, in the midsection. You see that? Wheels look good. Wheels look good. Now, when I do gladiator rounds, which is a matchup, if I use Ronnie Coleman, I use the best front lat spread, the best rear lat spread of any different version. I actually picked the side tricep from 2001. For some reason, it translated so good. His arm, his tricep, I think he really hit that tricep that year. He really trained for this pose. And I might take some more debate here, but I think he's winning this one. And I think Jay Cutler is a little too smooth for, a little too soft to even compete against Jay or or uh, Ronnie Coleman. Now, he looks good in the abs, but I mean the legs, I mean, and the, uh, the arm, the tricep itself. So it's an easy uh, easy win for Coleman. Well, maybe not easy, but it's a, an easy, easy uh, third place for Jay Cutler. Turn these buses around and have a look at the tail ends. And without even without even really analyzing it too much, I can tell you right now, Jay Cutler is falling in last place. He is not even conditioned, guys. No wonder he is debatably, you know, lost the title that year. He didn't, but he did the next year. And he was more conditioned the next year than he was here. So I think he was punished. And, he, and I'm punishing him too with a last place finish. Now, back for back, he's probably losing as well. Muscle separation, he's wide. I mean, he's huge. He's Jay Cutler. His back, it is a bus, to be honest with you. Now, Coleman versus the doctor, Phil Heath. Phil is so compact and perfect, probably more conditioned as well. But Coleman is conditioned as far as glutes are concerned. His hamstrings, I've seen them more diced. Definitely seen them more diced. So he's not as conditioned as Phil, but he's twice as big. And there lies in the debate. I mean, which way do you go? Size and some condition versus detail and the best conditioned guy out there, which is Phil Heath. And I'm going to lean towards him. Now go to the rear double by. And this is the exact same judging. The exact same. Only this time, I think I favor the doctor a little bit more. His lats are a little bit more symmetrical than Coleman's, and you can really see that in a pose like this. But I mean, you Colemanites are going to easily give him both back shots. But then you're going to read some comments, and you're going to see, you know, Phil wins both back shots with ease, no problem. Well, that size to me, it is a little bit of a problem, but it's still a loss for Coleman. When it's the one-on-one and Jay Cutler takes the the easy third place, guys. I mean, if you don't think glutes matter, it's the biggest muscle in the body. It's a muscle competition. Why wouldn't you judge the glutes? Why wouldn't you? Doesn't make sense to me. Turn these dudes around for the abs and thigh pose. And Jay Cutler gets back on the board here. But I don't think that's going to make a whole hell of beans. His midsection, clearly the best, guys. And that makes the biggest difference to me. Actually, Coleman's midsection probably losing in this one. Uh, Phil Heath, good lag separation. I mean, he's hitting it. He's doing what he can do. But, you know, midsections. So it's going to be a, it's gonna be a lost point here for Coleman. And if it's close, it's going to hurt him losing the abs and thigh. But that was his worst part, I guess. Phil Heath's too, but it doesn't, it, you know, translates okay in the most muscular in the uh, abs and thigh. But speaking of, this is the most muscular, and I think Coleman, what he was losing in the abs and thigh, he's making up for it here in the double M, the most muscular. He is the biggest guy. He's he appears to be the most conditioned from this pose. That is muscle separation. Well, maybe Phil in the legs, but you know what I'm saying, guys. He has the best structure, and he is, well, he's the most muscular man that I can see. Now, Phil Heath, he's taking an easy second. It's more of a debate who would win for first between Phil and Coleman. And poor Jay. His bicep, definitely something going on there. It's his left bicep, and it's very smooth. Chest development as well. Doesn't stand a chance against uh, the doctor or the king, for that matter. 
So Jay Cutler, he lands in third place. With all due respect, not hating on the guy. It just seems like every single time I do a triple threat match with these three, Jay does land in third place. He's just not as conditioned as the other two guys. I mean, maybe if you used a less conditioned of them and then a more conditioned of Jay, maybe. But using all these versions, Jay Cutler falls in third place. And you know what, guys? This is a little bit more exciting than I thought because it's up to me. Both gentlemen, the last two remaining gentlemen, it's a tie between them. Can you imagine that one? I didn't do it on purpose, guys. So it's up to me. And in second place, the doctor. The doctor, the gift, Phil Heath. Guys, it was close. My opinion, when it is that close, you gotta go with the structure, right? Here is your winner, 2001 Ronnie King Coleman. And like I said, the 2001 Ronnie Coleman gets a lot of criticism, but he did have some qualities, probably his best tricep development. Have a look at it here. And as far as glutes are concerned, probably almost as conditioned as Phil Heath. It was close. It was close. But the guy is a house. Even with this version, I mean, you're not just going to beat Ronnie Coleman. This is the king. This is the king. He arguably defeated, you know, the best version of Jay Cutler in 2001. That's the way the judges seen it anyway. And this is the way I see it. 2001, Ronnie Coleman defeats the, the other two remaining bodybuilders, which are great. All three of these guys, probably the greatest of all time best of all time as well hit thumbs up on the video guys that's your you pick tuesday have a great week